Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. I caught myself doing something this week that I wanted to share with you. Um, I can't say that it was very comfortable to share and it wasn't very comfortable when I realised what I was doing either. But what I caught myself doing was making someone else wrong. In my mind, I didn't do it verbally and I didn't do it to somebody else, but I caught myself making this person wrong in my thoughts. I caught myself trying to make myself feel better than them and in my mind to make them less than me. And I'm sharing this because most of us do this in some form or other. You might catch yourself talking about someone with a friend or gossiping about somebody with a relative and making their behaviours wrong or their life choices wrong or their fashion sense wrong or their humour wrong or whatever it is. But we quite often make other people wrong. And what I realised when I caught myself doing that this week was that the reason I was making them wrong was because there was something in my life that I wasn't completely at peace with. And I was externalising it, even though I was doing it in my mind, onto that person. And I was making them wrong because actually I envied them. There was part of who they were or something they represented to me that I saw as not having. Now, and that's why it's a little uncomfortable because I am human. <laughs> I do still have these horrible things that I do sometimes. But what I learned from that and when I caught myself was something that I've, I've known and I've shared with you, I'm sure, before, is that we can never change the world externally. All we can do is change ourselves. So by becoming aware of why I was making this person wrong and myself right, the thing underneath my internal conversation, the reason that in my life, the thing that I wasn't comfortable with, when I became aware of that, I realised that was something I could work on and I could change. Because ultimately, when we make somebody else wrong and ourselves right, it doesn't change the reason why we're doing that. And the reason we're doing it is never about the other person. It is always about something inside yourself that you're not completely comfortable with, something you're not at peace with, something you're not happy with. And making somebody else wrong is not going to change that. You could make the whole world wrong and it still wouldn't change that. The only thing that can change that is you, either by forgiveness or acceptance or doing something to make that change. But making somebody else wrong to make yourself right is never going to do that. And something else I realised as well is that in making this person wrong to unconsciously make myself right, it, that doesn't do it either because it actually made me feel horrible about myself. Even though I didn't do it externally, even though I didn't share it with somebody else, it still made me feel really icky about myself because that person was innocently living their life, unbeknownst to them, me thinking horrible thoughts about them. And they're a perfectly lovely person. <laughs> they actually have never done anything wrong to me. They're really nice and really kind and really thoughtful. Um, and so it made me feel horrible about myself. And it was through no fault of the other person because they were completely oblivious to what my thought pattern was. And as usual with the ego, because that's really where all of this comes from, the strategies it comes up to cope with things, the strategies it comes up to make itself feel safe and to feel, and the survival strategies it comes up with, never really actually do what you unconsciously think they're going to do. I know I've been rambling, but let me try and break this down a little bit. Firstly, we make other people wrong because, not because there's anything wrong with that person or their choices or their actions, well, most of the time, not because of that. Generally, that's because there's something inside of ourselves that we're not at peace with. Not only does making that person wrong not actually achieve changing that part of us that we're not at peace with, it also makes us feel rather icky and uncomfortable about ourselves because we're projecting something onto them that isn't theirs in the first place. And it's not really nice to make other people wrong and to be mean to people. Um, it doesn't leave us feeling good inside. And lastly, when you become aware that you're doing this, either if you're doing it in your thoughts as I was, or if you're doing it with a friend, or if you're actually externally being nasty to somebody to make yourself feel better, when you become aware that you're doing this, 
The next thing is to find out what it is inside of you that you are not at peace with and then to take action on that, whether it needs to be some kind of forgiveness, whether it needs to be um, some action needs to be taken on it or whether you actually just need to let it go. Whatever it is, you have to do that work on yourself and you, you won't make it right by externalising it onto the world outside and to, onto other people. I hope that has helped you in some way <laughs> and um, I hope you have a stunning week ahead. Loads of love from me to you. Bye-bye.